Hello, and welcome back to Cube Plays Final Fantasy IX. Remember? Remember how I started the first videos like that? So, I did a little bit of grinding. So we'll see the results of that. Hopefully when we fight Kuja, assuming he shows up. We're making a lot of assumptions. There's still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breathes it! So much for the mist continent! No more mist? Oh yeah, that must be a weird thing to just find out happened. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. WTF. Oh, Cubert, there's a silver dragon! It's him! He flew from the ruins of Promethea riding a silver dragon! It's Kuja, alright, and he's riding that dragon. It's been a while, buddy. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it no longer matters if the Eva tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. Mwahaha, the tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes a great mother tree that lives among the stars. What? Silver Dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Aoife. No one shall interrupt us there. Did we actually do exactly what he wants? Who do I want to take with me to fight Kuja? Oh man, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Guess I'll keep my current members. Sorry, Dagger. You have more plot reasons to be there. Hopefully she'll still be in the cutscenes. I don't know if that matters. Oh, I got random encounters. <laughs> Zambos, we don't need you right now. We're doing the whole thing. Get out of here. Oh, she learned the carbuncle. Oh, can I actually... Do you have anything else she needs to learn down there? Oops. Oh! Protect. I just still gotta learn some of the basic spells. Bomb, bomb, ch. Bomb, 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 pee. Kuja in the house. Yeah. Cut, doesn't matter for the cutscenes. We'll pass the trunk if we go any farther. <laughs> Amaranth, where do I get myself into? Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Qbert, how are we gonna get up there? Can't we climb there? <laughs> I'm a monkey. Not me. Me neither. I don't think I can either. We came all this way, now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Whoa, hey, whoa, Amaranth, watch where you're walking. He was, uh, you almost get me off. <laughs> he who hesitates is lost. You best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. <laughs> Whatever, like you actually have a plan. Oh yeah, smarty pants, don't forget you're the one that lost to Qbert. Shut up, brat. A plan, huh? That's right, Amaranth, you owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can all get up on top and ride it. Get in right up top. What should I do that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How do I ever let this dim wheat beat me? <laughs> Whoa, there he goes! Alright, Dagger, I'll just carry you piggyback. Uh, hey, Cubert, wait just a... That was pretty impressive if he can do all this climbing and stuff with her like that. I like how, so he's like a monkey guy, so obviously he can climb, and Freya's a dragoon, so she can jump like crazy. Amaranth just, he's just a jumpy guy. <laughs> you know, why not? The weak lose their freedom to the strong, such is the way of the strong, and it is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. What are you talking about, Kuja? So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. Thanks, Amaranth. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. 
there's Kuja. Yeah, get ready, guys. Well, they really want to let you do this. Kuja, maker of black mages. An enemy of Cubert is an enemy of mine. Okay, let's go. I'm getting kind of nervous that this fight's going to be super tough. But I've been grinding a bit, so hopefully it's okay. Look at that dragon. He's got a tiny head. You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet Till Alexandros, I wish to ask you something. Was it really you who persuaded my mother to start the war, the war that threw the entire miscontinent into chaos? And you made everyone, the black mages, into instruments of war. Oh dear, the princess is such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with broth of mist and add a fermented souls and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and eat a Stop it. <laughs> You're stupid. I'm not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First you don't want to listen and now you start asking questions? Oh brother, but you're not ready yet. What? So the, the mist is, is like, mixed up people's souls? Why you, don't you feel anything taking the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go all the time, what's the big deal? <laughs> like, whatever. Speaking of warmongers, why, what about that mother of yours, princess? She said she wouldn't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? No, no, your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar, my mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. Abra-bra-bra. Mwahaha, so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. Aren't we gonna get an FMV? Wahaha, <laughs> Kuja, so you finally decided to show your girly face here! <laughs> you don't get to insult anyone's appearance, Brane. You're all that stands between me and total domination. Gehehe, <laughs> but I haven't forgotten all you've done for me. In return, I will show you the ultimate power. Attention, all hands, order the black mages to focus all their magical energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire, fire at will! Well, these two had a falling out pretty fast. <laughs> Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all your magical energy into a single spell. And we're really focusing... I... I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, uh, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in the caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist. We don't actually- we aren't actually gonna fight Kuja himself. Of course, this isn't boss battle music. Whoa, look at these guys. We got LED mouths. Mistodon? Like a mastodon, but made a mist. That's silly. I like it, though. Oh, you need some more MP. Luckily, Amaranth can give you some. Mist. Oh, they actually make mist? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Curious. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good MP. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I realize that Aiko can also equip rackets, just like Dagger, so she can actually do both. It's kind of it's kind of frustrating that they introduce a second character that's kind of better at Dagger's job than she is. It's like she, Dagger's more important, obviously. It's kind of poopy. Let's see. I might have Vivi bop Cubert on the head. Okay. 
cast magic. I wonder what exactly happened there that made- Oh, Vivi slowed because he has added a status with his weapon. Oops. Vivi, your, your attack is too effective for some reason. So two of your enemies are duking it out, why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> oh, I can respect that position. Ha ha ha, foolish Brane, your prize cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist. But even a fool like you knows that there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well, I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target you can't miss. Silver dragon descend. Trying to coax her to use a summon or something. Emerus, right, let's split before we get dragged in. No, I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Come on! <laughs> Dagger? Hubert, I, I have to save her! <laughs> uh, Dagger, she extracted Adelons from you and started a war? I still don't want her to die, but she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother! I don't care if you don't understand! I don't. Gotta admit I don't. Eiko, you said that there was an Adelon in prison near here, right? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Please, tell me where. It's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see. <laughs> She's looking at the camera. Dagger, don't go alone! I wonder if she would have been in our party right now if we had chosen her. Or if we only picked our party for that one battle. I don't think these guys are gonna do anything super exciting. <laughs> this is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this, give her a break! Kira, let's go. Dagger's in danger all by herself. Yeah, let's go after her. Dagger, why you gotta want to save your m stupid mom? She wanted to off with your head. What, what is this? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why I was posed all funny like that. Here he come. Penner's probably got a stronger attack. But I do have quite a few Phoenix pinions, so if that does affect their attack, maybe my Phoenix is the most powerful at the moment. It, how, how long is this branch? What are we doing? Was that Leviathan? I sense the Adelon's power. Now, now I can save my mother. Please help me. Received Aquamarine. No! I can't save my mother with this Adelon. Why not? Is because it's not strong enough? What's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Adelon, but. but. I don't believe it. This is the legendary sea serpent Leviathan. Leviathan? An Adelon who wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry, Dagger. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. I wish you would just drown everybody. Use it, dagger. Use it. Isn't her majesty ready yet? All remaining ammunition was spent on the last wave of monsters. The next wave will chew us out up unless we pull out now. Out now. Bleh. Unless we pull out now. That is not our decision. Get back to your post, soldier. Ah, shit. Poor black mages, they're doing their best. Your Majesty, the black mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp, now I can finish him off. 
come, Draconic Seedling Bahamut, King of Dragons. What a weirdo. I've heard the stories, but I never thought summoning could be so powerful. If Kubert is after their power, I better watch out. <laughs> Amaranth, you're so out of place here. Wow, now we can win, and Mother won't have to die. Echo, don't you think... what's wrong? Mog, she's terrified. How come? Don't you know, that's the last Eidolon, Bahamut, the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. Blood. Ha 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 ha. Excellent, Bahamut. With that red eyeliner and stuff, he um, actually kind of reminds me of Kefka. Excellent. Oh, wait, never read Power mobility, you truly are the best. You even hurt me a little. And you, Brane, your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. We don't know what that's about yet. Ha ha ha, everything is going according to plan. So he's got some other guy he wants to kill. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him, but we found Queen Brawny on the beach next to her escape pod. Escape pod? She could hardly move, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kuja a lot, but I hate Brawny a lot too, so much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Dagger start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry too. I don't know if this is Vivi or Cubert thinking. I would assume Cubert, but. I mean, she got face blasted, like, by Bahamut very directly, so this is honestly pretty impressive. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I. I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother, I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. I wonder the extent to which her personality really changed once Kuja got in with her. Because I assume people would have said something if, like, it was completely different. 
but it seemed like they just kind of chalked it up to her grief over the dad dying, so she must have been somewhat like that before. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Brawny's escape pod. We also brought... Dagger's mother with us. Oh. I guess I could imagine her being like just a big old child. Like a let them eat cake kind of naive queen that didn't mean anyone any harm. Maybe. What was his voice? That's my princess. Oh shit! Steiner and Beatrix! How horrible that our life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my- No, it was my fault. Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. If both, will both of you please help me during this, my time of need? Yes, Princess, certainly. Thank you. She's the freaking queen now. I'll hail the queen. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. The townspeople sent it as an offering for the queen's grave. Truly, Queen Brane had been act acting quite erratic before her death. But the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. I don't know, seems a little forgiving to me. <laughs> Dang it, I want to see a flashback to her before. Mother, I shall become a great queen. You've set the bar very low. My castle. <laughs> My cool sword sticking out of it, castle. <laughs> They're making Steiner row. Princess, we have arrived at the castle. She won't be princess for much longer, Dr. Tot. Haha, <laughs> indeed. I shall have to call you Queen Garnet after the coronation. I must make preparations for the crowning of our new queen. General Beatrix, Master Steiner, will you help her? Princess, please watch your step. Beatrix, you're lucky I'm not a wrathful queen, or I would have you beheaded for treason. Dr. Tot. Princess, I know how hard this must be, but I will be by your side. Please take the throne with full confidence. Are we going to play as Steiner? Three more days until the crowning of a new queen. What a day. I'm s clipping through the boat somewhat because I'm so upset. <laughs> we ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sourpuss, partner? What happened? Maybe that dagger chick dumped him. <laughs> Bingo. This ain't like you at all, Qbert. Hey, Ruby. I heard you started a mini theater. That's right, darling. My plays are a hit. Cool, let's go watch. Yeah! Alright, cowboys. Qbert, you ain't coming, are ya? That's alright, darling. Come on over there whenever you want. Let's go, boys. <laughs> well, at least she's having a good time. Hey, remember this place? This way, everyone. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Huh? Hey, Vivi. Hello. I haven't seen you since you left Alexandria Castle. How are you? Well, a lot of things happened, but I'm doing fine. How about you? What have you been doing since we left the castle? Me? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's been crazy since you guys escaped. Rusty, that rat chick, Freya, and... What's her face? That girl general of Alexandria. Beatrix. Yeah, the three of them got totally worked. Marcus and I had to carry him out on our backs. Marcus? We gotta get going before Ruby gets mad at us again. Oh yeah, she hates it when we're late. Sorry, Vivi. I'll see you later. Okay. I'm Vivi. 
Pat, I'm Vivi in Alexandria, just like the very beginning. Morningstar Bar. Today's half fry special, our original cocktail, Her Majesty. Who's now Dagger? Let's go see our, our monkey boy. Oh, you just moping. You just moping around. You mopey butt. Are you friends with the man sitting at the table? I think his friends went to the mini theater. The mini theater was starred by the last owner of this bar and a girl named Ruby. Oh, the guy with the spiky hair that used to be here? Last night's play was great. I'm so glad I pushed myself to make a great sign for it. <laughs> That's right, the sign maker guy. Oh man, it's crazy to be back here. I don't have any work when there isn't an event going on in town. Please tell me if someone is hiring. I play a mean trumpet. <laughs> this is my only skill, is to go... Hang in there, buddy. Oh, long time no see. <laughs> been a long time. It's these weird bondage guys. Been a while. I like the, the, the this is the motion they do. Where have you been, Benero? We were worried. <laughs> this one's name is Gennaro. Sorry, I've been training. Training. Yeah, training. Training for what? Tell us. It was. <laughs> what the heck? Oh yeah, there's a store there. Ooh, to fly high. I wanna fly high. Cuber's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it, he's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. Come on, he's in love with a queen. Did he think it would work out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. That's why he's in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. But this is something he needs to deal with head on. This is gonna make him stronger, you'll see. Artemision. What? This is a jailbreak, Kupo. Or it almost kind of looks like a Cheshire cat pattern. What's your deal? And there's Siltskin. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Siltskin, long time no see! Hey, Artemision, why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Of course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all my mail to my friends? Of course I did. You sent out one. But what about the other five? But, but I've been reading them. Are you here to see the new queen, too? Do you think Princess Garnet will be a good queen for Alexandria? <laughs> yes, I think so. I'm sure Princess Garnet will do a fine job. At least people believe in her. I do think they liked her as a princess. A lot of things happened during Queen Bronnie's reign, but overall it was a good time for us. That's why I put together a wreath made of roses for her gravestone. You... You don't even care about, like, the genocide thing? You're a bad person. I'm sorry. You don't gotta celebrate that legacy. There are strange men hanging around my shop. <laughs> yeah, look, this is a sh I can buy some new weapons. I mean, if we're gonna ice lance, cat's claws. I think that's what he already has. We got a healing rod. Oh, I have a lot of money now. Oh my god, I'm rich. Oh yeah, this is a weapon specifically for Amaranth to throw. Because he can, like, throw weapons, and you have some specific throwing weapons. But he can also just throw any weapon. Just in case. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Brigandine. Plate mail. Alright. What do you guys want? Family is precious. Oh, I guess they're brothers. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes more sense than them all just looking the same. I just thought it was RPG stuff. I'm gonna do some synth thing. I'm gonna go see if I can save. And I'll do that off camera. Those little jump rope girls aren't there anymore. They were all dead. They were sent to war. Ruby's mad at me again. How can I calm her down? I don't know. Not my problem. I'm gonna go see Koopo. Hey kid, what are you doing? My kitten mittens ran away. Oh, I got your mittens back for you last time. Is that mittens? <laughs> I don't think I can get up there. Oh, mittens. You such trouble. Yeah! I'm Artemisian, the Mognet Mailman. You're asking me why I don't deliver mail properly? Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> We've been doing your job for you. You want to buy all this stuff for 777? Sure. Lucky number. Thanks, buddy. I'll use the money for my next journey. 
I've been thinking about how the mist disappeared, but I gotta do more traveling to find the answer. Yeah, I hope nobody happened to be flying in an airship at the time that we made the mist disappear, because that would have been death for all of them. And now that whole industry is gone. We really upended a lot of shit, but I think I have a letter for you. Give Koopo a letter. My big brother sent me a letter, Koopo. Where has he been? I've been worried. Oh, Koopo is Koopo's big brother. Fossil Roo is very comfortable. I like it here, Koopo. <laughs> It's very comfortable to be buried in a wall. We play hide and seek every day. The most important thing in life are to work hard and play hard, Koopo. I'm glad my big brother is doing well, Koopo. He's a little crazy. But yeah, geez, a lot happened this episode. A lot of big stuff. Now Dagger's gonna be the queen, and Brawny's finally dead, so I feel good about that. You know, I, I think we did a good job. And Kuja, it's very embarrassing to read your lines because you're very dramatic and you maybe just need to stop. I think you're trying a little too hard in, in many aspects of your life. <laughs> but well, I guess we'll see some more of him. Wink.